What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a low effort ratio kill in the game of RuneScape with only a very few clicks and while on mobile. So without further ado, let's get to it. In this low effort ratio kill guide, I will be showing you our inventory our gear the perks we have on our gear the what familiar we are using during these low effort kills along with the relic powers and maybe a tip or a trick or two that you may have not have noticed while playing the game of runescape so we're going to go over the gear and inventory spaces right now right now we're going to be running with the animate dead spell so we're going to be needing three crippling pieces which will be the helm the boots and the gloves very important to reduce damage during this fight since he hits like a truck. So then we're going to move to the body and the pants, which will be the Death Warden, the tier 90s for the damage reduction as well. We will be using the tier 95 weapons, the Omni Guard and the Soulbound Lantern, just to deal a lot more damage. We have the necks, which will hold the all of your ruins, uh, the Scripture of When, the Amulet of South E, and most importantly, it is the Zuck Cape for Necromancy. I can't remember the name, but that's super important. Uh, for the aura, it could be anything, I believe. Vampirism worked for me. I use Aegis just to help with the damage reduction as much as possible. Um, it, I, you, I'm sure you could use Equilibrium at this point, but Aegis or Vampirism definitely worked for this method. And the Ring of Death is probably the most important piece of equipment that you can have for this fight in this phase four there's chances that you could die and the ring of death will keep you alive enough to where you can grab the loot after you kill him go back to the bank heal up and the ring of death effect will reset now for the inventory space you can see we have an elder overload south i'm not exactly sure if the other overload would even work i just bring the best of the best to Rassiel because I know Rassiel hits hard and you want to do as much damage as possible to Rassiel to even the playing field here. Now, I also have a Vitality Pot just for Phase 4 in case something looks a little sideways. You can always click it and, you know, you double your health and you take less damage over time. And it's just, it's one of those reassurances things that you can keep along with you. Next, I do have a Tuned Portent of Restoration X. Yes, X because it heals 2300 compared to i believe it was 1600 for the other restorations but i do you want those are almost one of the most important things here for extra healing uh, at least five of those each kill now i do have some ceridome and brews along with some blue jelly blue blubber jellyfish just in case phase four wants to go a little south as well i do have a powder of pendants which i just hit powder of pendants in my very first fight it's good for 30 minutes it helps with your prayer over the fights it, I've noticed that even with Sorrow and Soul Split running together, you still lose all of your prayer by the end of a fight sometimes. Now, I do have a Blood Reaver and some scrolls. We'll get to that in a little bit. Vulnerability Bombs, I've noticed you don't need them to finish it off. It's just, if you want a quicker kill time, you can easily click on it, throw one out. I do have a couple Grasping Ruin Pouches for the Prism of Restoration for your Blood Reaver. We'll get into that in a little bit. Also, Animate Dead. Very important spell. I have an Enhanced Excalibur for some healing for Phase 4 if you decide to hit Ring of Death and you need some healing in the end. And the Elven Ritual Shard, you don't really need it. It's just there. I always have it there for reassurance just in case something doesn't work or I run out of Powder of Pendants during a fight. So I always have that in my inventory at all times. As for the perks on our gear, they're not really best in slot or end game type of stuff, but some are important. As you can see on our rogue top, we have Crackling 4, Undead Slayer, Devoted 4. Devoted 4 is not really needed to be in there, but Crackling 4 and Undead Slayer definitely do. They give a lot more DPS for this fight for you to be able to handle enough for Soul Split to actually work for you guys. Now, as you see on the rogue bottoms, we have Lucky 6, Crystal Shield 1, and Absorb, but if 4. Very important to have on these. They do plenty enough during this fight that you need them on one of the gear setups for you. 
Now for the Omni Guard, we have Aftershock 4, Ruthless 1. I mean, Ruthless 1, I guess it kind of does help out that he has minions around, but Aftershock 4 does plenty of damage to also help you take out this fight a lot faster. Now as for the Soulbound Lantern, we have Precise 6, Ruthless 1. I just wanted the Precise 6. I never really went after perks. But again, this is exactly how I've been doing this method. Next up, we will be running with the Blood Reaper, like I said earlier in this video, with scrolls. This is a very key thing to keeping your life up throughout the entire fight. And this is the reason why we need the Grasping Ruin Pouches in our inventory for the Ruins for Prison of Restoration. Because right before Phase 4, you're going to want to use this to heal up your Blood Reaver. Now that is if you have your Blood Reaver set to 6 ticks auto seconds. If you have them set for 8 you don't need to use Prism of Restoration. Your Blood Reaver will survive throughout the entire time. But 6 is more of a preferred method for this. Because it does keep your life up. And in case you guys didn't know. Before you get into the fight with Rasiel. I would recommend going to Anacronia. Going to your level 3 spa that's there. And you're going to use a thermal bath treatment as you see on screen. This also with the campfire at War's Retreat will definitely boost your HP enough to where you can help yourself withstand Rasio with all the damage reduction that you're going to be getting through the Death Warden and the Aegis Aura if you choose to run that route. And as for the bar, just copy the one that you see on screen at the very top here. But for the sidebars, I have the right side being for the pre-fight and the left side for the very beginning of each fight with Rasiel. So as you can see, we do have our quick prayers for Soul Split and Sorrow. Too cheap to have the tier 99 one. So I got Sorrow and Soul Split, which works perfectly fine with this method. Now, the next thing that we do activate is our scripture of when very important i have a powder of penance just for the future fights as well then we have animate dead you must activate that before we get in and i have my elder overload south there everything for the beginning of the fight outside of rasiel's arena very important get all of those done as soon as you can now when you get into the arena you're going to surge all the way across as you'll see in a little bit then we're going to conjure undead army very important and then you're going to do invoke death right before he does spawn so you get everything done as soon as you possibly can and like i also said around phase four you're gonna want to hit prism of restoration it is super super important to make sure that your reaver is alive at the end of the fight during phase four or you will die even with a ring of death proc so i'm going to run you through what i do to take on ratio with this low effort kill first off i'm gonna go in i'm gonna hit my preset simple thing to do then i'm gonna run off the anachronia and i'm gonna go and hit the spa resort that we have up there as you'll see i misclick playing on mobile it is it's a nightmare at times but i me personally i do prefer playing on mobile after i'm done getting the thermal bath at the spa resort i go back to war's retreat I hit the campfire to make sure my HP is as max as it can go, which is somewhere around the 13,000 mark. And then I make sure my prayer is usually up. If my prayer is already fine, we move on. And I go straight into Rasiel. Now, as you see, before we do get into the fight itself, I'm going to be making sure my aura is on. I'm going with the Aegis aura itself. And you're going to watch everything get clicked. My quick prayers, my wind book, my powder of penance, my animate dead, and my elder overload self, and I'm going to go straight into the fight with Rasiel. Now you're going to see me surge straight across, conjure army, and then I'm going to do invoke death. I'm going to stand in this very tip of this point right here and not touch a single thing. Just watch.
Right here, you're gonna notice that I'm gonna be keeping an eye on my inventory in case I use needed to use the vit pot, which in this case didn't really need to, but you're also gonna watch his little shadows from the floor proc my ring of death here, but it's just enough to where I don't need to worry and scurry away to a bank, collect the loot, right? And then I'm gonna head straight back towards retreat, which is classified as a safe area, which means you can't die in that spot. And then you can run to the bank and then you're just gonna reload reload your preset, make sure your prayer's up, make sure you have your, your familiar all healthy, which I do skip here for some reason, but it doesn't really matter because you have Prism of Restoration. You can use it anytime as long as you have the ruins in your grasping pouch. It is what it is. So I'm gonna hit my five preset, which is my preset for Rassiel here. And then we're gonna go straight back into the Rassiel kill. Now, at the very beginning of this kill, I don't need to hit all of my pre-fight stuff on my right side of the bars here. This time, I'm gonna be able to skip Animate Dead, and I'm also gonna be able to skip my Powder of Pendants, which is a huge plus. You just basically, you can go right back into the fight, be happy with it, you know, hit your undead army, and make sure your prayer's up. I, I forget to leave my prayer up here. You you don't need to shut it down as long as you go and hit the altar at War's Retreat. And everything is fine and dandy. As you can see, Anima Dead is still up. One book is still up. I hit my prayers. My Elder Overload, I did have to suck down another one there. Here I am. I surge across. I hit Undead Army. And then I hit Invoke Death. And before he comes out, as you see, everything lines up. My Familiar is full health. And then we just low effort go with this again. Let's just fast forward this one for you. Now, as you can tell, I pulled up my familiar here. I wanted to make sure my Reaver's life is still going to be okay right before phase four. And here in about a couple seconds, you're going to see I use Prism of Restoration just to heal him up to make sure I know he is alive 100% before phase four even started. Because you take a lot of damage during this, you want to make sure he's still alive to give you all the heals that you absolutely need. Now, this time, you're going to notice that I do hit the Enhanced Excalibur when my Ring of Death does Rock. Let's fast forward to that. As you can see here, I'm not too scared with the Ring of Death proc happening. I hit the Excalibur. I might use a Vit Pot here, but you just kind of keep an eye on things. But luckily, I was able to get him down enough for the Invoke Death Mark to finish him off without any worries. You hurry back towards retreat, happy to be alive. <laughs> And then you just go back into the bank so your your ring of death proc ends. You just do it all over again. Hit the altar, hit your preset, run back in. Make sure your preset stuff is good before you do run back into it. But guys, if you did enjoy this video and it did help you in any kind of way to being able to beat Rassiel, whether it be in your first time or maybe you found a way to make it AFKable, which if you did, please let me know. Please drop a like, and maybe even consider subscribing. It will go a long way for the channel. But until next time, guys, I hope you stay safe. See you.